So now we're going to actually apply this new algorithm that we've developed to place the corners. So let's start off with, where is it, the green side. Um, this isn't where it needs to be. This needs to come over here. So I'm going to apply the algorithm that will move this to here, this to here, and this to here. So just as a proof of concept, let's see if it's going to work. So as you recall, that slice is going to face us here. Then it's going to be um, right down, left down, right up. We slice it back, right down, left up, right up. So our cube stayed exactly the same as anticipated, and we did move this into place over here. So let's keep going. Green and uh, yellow needs to come over here. So pick your pick your poison here. Yeah, so this will move here, this will move here, this will move up here. So we're going to do it on the right side. So we're going to split this down from the right side. I just think of it in terms of this is the one that I'm going to end up moving. So this comes down. This is on the left side. So down, down, up, split it back, down, up, and up. All right, so now this is in place. This is in place too. So now we've got these guys that we have to contend with and put in the right area. Well, here's the red, so this needs to make it to here. So I can do the algorithm once and then twice to put that here. So let's I'll rush through that real quick. Down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up. There it is here. We've not missed anything else up. So again, the whole key was designed a very simple commutator. So move this down, 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 up, slice it back, down, up, up, and there it is. So now we just have one more green to go, which is here. And from here to here, here to here, here to here. That's pretty good. And we should have our green solved. So slice this down. Down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up, and sure enough, there it is. So white, orange, yellow, red, okay. So now we're just going to follow suit. And notice we haven't interfered with the skew. These are moving all around, but who cares for now? So what else needs to happen? Well, here's a red and yellow. This can go over here. If I do the algorithm, these aren't going to be affected because I've already tested it out and I already know what's going to happen. So this will go here, which is what we want. This red and, uh, sorry, this orange and white will come down here. Eh, nah, not comfortably. So we'll just, we'll just keep it simple here. Slice it down. So from the left side, down, down, up, slice it um, back up. It's this middle layer that we're doing, by the way. So slice it back up, reverse it, down, up, and up. All right, so this is where it needs to be. So this is part of the fun of, the, uh, of these puzzles, is just kind of placing things, running into trouble, seeing what you can do about it. All right, so what do we got? This needs to come over here, so we can easily do that. This will come here. This will come here, this will come up here. So we're gonna slice this down from this angle. Down, down, up. Slice it back, down, up. Whoops, up. Okay, so this is where it needs to be. Okay, here's a blue and yellow, which needs to make it over here. So I could move this over here and that'll be just fine. So this move here. So like I say, an algorithm within an algorithm. So slice it down, 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 up, yikes. And then slice it back, and down, up, up. Now I have to remember to move it back. So this did move this over here. So we're looking pretty good. We got a good number of them in. The ones that are left are this one and this one. I probably shouldn't have made them too adjacent to each other, but this one needs to be put in. So can we do a three cycle here comfortably? 
Okay, so, all right, so this blue and white needs to make it down to here, blue and white over here. So if I turn it like this, that puts it in line. So this will come here, this blue and red, which should go down here. So I could move this over here. All right, so that's quite a deconstruction, isn't it? Which sort of challenges the memory a little bit. But basically, I move this over here, so this can come here. Then I move this over here, so this can come down here, where the blue and red is. I just have to remember exactly what I did. All right, let's see if we can do it. So move this down, 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 up, move this Move this back up, down, up, and up. Now, admittedly, this was a little more complicated than I would have liked, but anyway, everything is where it needs to be, and I believe this moved down over here, and this moved over here. All right, that was a little easier than I made it seem, but look what we did. We've got all of these edges in place, just based on that algorithm. So now comes when we, uh, the, the point at which we have to do a lot more deconstructing and reconstructing, I, I would imagine, is to cycle all of these guys in. This is the marathon portion of it. This is what we saw with the Mega Minxes, if you want to reference those. But if we, uh, let's just do a, like a proof of concept here. So for the green side, we could... Okay, we could move this orange to here, this blue to here, which puts it in here, and this green will come over here, because we know the algorithm to do that. That's, that's what we generated. And as, as you recall, we slice this up, and then we move from this over here. So that's down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up. Exactly the same algorithm. So this green is in, and this blue is in. We try to place as many as possible so that we can kind of get more bang for our buck, so to speak. Now we're gonna to have to do a pretty good amount of deconstructing and reconstructing. Here's a green, we can maybe put the green. Yeah, let's try things from this angle here if we still wanna do green. Yeah, we can put it over here. Okay, so this red will go here, this will go here, and this green will come into here. So again, we're gonna be moving it based on this side here now, so this moves up, down, down, up, move it back, down, up, up. And there it is over here. And I always like to reconstruct it so that I don't get too lost. So we're making some ground. All right, here's something that'll go in nicely. This will come here, this will come here, this green will come down here. Yeah, like this, okay. So this comes up, then this left down, right down, left up, bring this slice back, left down, right up, left up. So now this is in. And like I say, just keep going. We can cycle this, this to here, this to here, this to here, but we don't want to mess this up. But it's going to take one, two to put this in, one, two, and this is gonna end up coming back. So we're really just cycling two blues. So we're gonna do this algorithm twice. The, the blue will come back and the green will be in and the blue will be hanging out over here. So move this up, down, down, up, move it back, down, up, up. All right, do it once more for this to come here. Cycle it up, down, down, up, cycle it back, down, up, up. All right, so we got the green side. Now I'm moving a little fast because I'm really just applying what we, what we had already learned. So what can we do here? Well, here's a red that can be put in here. White to here, white to here, red to down here. So move it up, down, down, up. Move it back, down, up, up. All right, so that's in. How about here? This orange, two turns of it will put it here. The red, two turns of it will put it here. So that's not too shabby. Move this up here, down, down, up. Move it back, down, up, up. Now we're gonna do it again, because we said two turns. We'll put this to here. 
So move it up, down, down, up, move it back, down, up, up. All right, so red here, orange here. So we're cruising. All right, how about this? We can rotate this white here, this to here, this to here, this to here. Seems like a lot just to place one, but why not? This slice goes up, down, down, up, bring it down, or bring it back rather, down, up, up. So the white's over here. Okay, what else we got? What else can we conveniently put in? Okay, what I'm going to do is this will come here, this will come here. So I'm just going to cycle this around until this blue ends up over here. So, slice it up using our algorithm. Down, down, up. Slice it back, down, oops, up, up. One more time, we'll put the blue in here. So slice it up, L down, R down, L up. Slice it back, L down, R up, L up. And there it is over here. So if I turn this down over here, this yellow will come to this yellow, this white will come here, and this yellow will come here. So one, two, one, well, let's just see what happens. So slice it up, down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up. Okay, that put this yellow in. One more, this white will be here, this yellow will be here. So that's pretty good too. Slice it up. Down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up. White one here, yellow one here, not too shabby. Put it back. So we're gaining some ground, slowly but surely, but mostly slowly. Okay, here's a three cycle. I've got two of the same color. One, two, we'll put an orange in here, and we'll end up with a yellow one back. So move this up, down, down, up, move it back, down, up, up. How are we looking? Okay, one more. Move it up, down, down, up, move it back, down, up, up. Okay, so now these two are in. What I'm doing, and I know I'm moving kind of fast just to sort of get through it, is I'm just applying the algorithm that we found to move these around. And it's just a matter of positioning and repositioning. I'm going to move this over here so that this is in line here. So now I can do a three cycle between these guys. A yellow one will end up here, red one here, so it's not all for nothing. Slice this up so it's on the right side. So right down, left down, right up. Slice it back. Right down, left up, right up. Well, and then we just construct it back down. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Okay, blue to blue, red. It'd be great if we could put a red one in here. Can we? Yeah, okay, awesome. I just meant a two, a, another deconstruction. I just have to remember to turn this back here. So hopefully I'll remember to do that. Anyway, we'll cycle this around from this side. Turn it up, since we did it on the right side. Down, down, up. Cycle it back, down, up, up. Now, am I going to remember what I just did? Yeah, okay. I find it harder. you got to be careful with the smaller layers, like pyramids and cubes, of doing too much reconstructing, especially the cubes, because you have a lot of overlapping layers. I found the Megaminx is easier because you had a lot of layers that didn't overlap. Okay, if I can get a red one here, that would be nice. Okay, so I'm just going to move this whole thing on block. So this can go here. So two turns, we'll put this red here and then here. This blue will come here and then here. So that'll be okay. So I'm going to do that algorithm on the right side twice. So up, down, down, up. Get it back. Down, up, up. And now I said we'll do it twice, as you can see. This will cycle in nicely. Blue will go here, red will here, red will here, red will go there. So I'll we'll cycle it up, down, down, up, back, 
down, up, up. So that's looking a little better. Reconstitute it here. And we're getting there. Remember, these higher layers are endurance events. Here, this orange can go here. This red can go here. This can come down here. Nope. Which would be great if that's exactly if that's what was going to happen. One, two, we'll put the orange one here. One, two, we'll put the red one back there. So that's not too shabby. You just have to do it quick. Luckily, these algorithms are really pretty simple and quick. So you can do multiple ones quickly. Slice it here. Let me get my orientation here. Okay, so slice it here. Then because it's the left side, down, down, up. Slice it back. Down, up, up. And the movement is so good that it's quite easy to do this multiple times. Up, down, down, up. Slice it back. Down, up, up. Okay, so now we just have not too much more to go. Okay, so here's a nice three cycle. This orange to here, this to here, this to here. That is that magic three way. So that's gonna really accelerate me closer to the solution. So on the left side, this goes up, down, down, up. Slice it back, down, up, up. All right. And bring this in. So that really accelerated things. I just have two to go. So. Like I say, there could be some fancy algorithms to get this in. I just like to kind of do the algorithms that we developed. That was a little trip around the world. Okay. This can go here. This can go here. Now I'm going to do this anyway just to sort of reorient things. This red goes here. It would be great if I can get a yellow here. But more than likely... Ooh. Nope. Ha. Thought I was going to get lucky. Okay, so let's just do it and see what happens. So, up, down, down, up, slice it back, down, up, up. Just to get another perspective here. Okay, so at least these are on the same level. So this to here, this, if we can get a green here, that would be good. I take a little fancy footwork here. Yeah, okay. So I managed to get a green over here just by doing some... Basically what I did is these two are sort of in a level by itself, so I can move this here. I just move this down twice, and then I moved it once. So this should get everything where it needs to be. I just have to remember what I did. Remember red goes to red. That'll start me off. So slice it up here. Then we're on the right side, down, down, up, slice it back, down, up. Well, normally we go up, but we don't need to. We're here, move this back, and it's done. And you did it just by isolating um, the areas that need to uh, move, developing commutators. I encourage you to apply this to all different types of puzzles, especially with higher layers. Commutators are not hard to develop as long as you're doing your other little motions before and after or before and in the middle of the commutator before you put it back in. So hopefully that'll help. And that is the master skew and the strategies therein. Let's see where we go next.